Hey guys, we're here from Spike for another engineering q and I'm Adam. And I'm Josh. And we are here to talk about this guy, the solo panel. So let's get into it. Oh, I'm kind of thirsty, we're gonna be talking a lot. You want something to drink? I definitely need something, Adam. Maybe a beer. I love a beer. That's better. That's what I'm talking about. Now I'm ready to talk about a solo panel. That's right. So Adam, we've got a new solo panel here. Can you tell me why we wanted to make this new panel? It's a good question, Josh. So yeah, obviously we've sold a panel with our solo system for a couple of years now. And we really wanted to be able to provide uh, a really clean, easy solution that you could get just by itself and kind of build your electric brewing system around it. And so we kind of thought, be good to kind of reinvent and reimagine what an electric brewing panel should be. And we think this really is gonna hit the mark for a home brewer. The panel looks sick, it's easy to use, and I just love this thing and I'm ready for it to get out. It does have kind of a Darth Vader vibe going on. Oh, it, it does. Nice. It definitely was inspired from a galaxy far, far away. I can see that the dark side is strong in this one. Very much so. This thing is so easy to use. You can pull it out of the box, plug it in, and it's ready to go. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, I mean, the whole mindset behind this is that we've got a brain inside this thing that's pretty much doing all of the thinking for you, right? So it's based on a printed circuit board design, customized, and we have a microprocessor inside that's just doing all the heavy lifting. And so the idea there is that we can provide really great performance, a really good user interface, and from a standpoint of what the brewer needs to do, they just they just gotta say on off temperatures that I want and they don't really have to worry about what the panel needs to do and how it needs to be set up. The other thing is, you know, some of the other panels out there, they use uh, big solid state relays that actually waste a lot of electrical energy. We use uh, solid state electronics like Tri-X, which are actually designed to handle that high current and they really send the maximum amount of electrical energy straight through to your element rather than dissipating that away as heat. Awesome. So not only are you getting more power to the brew day, but it's even more efficient. Exactly. The other thing we wanted to do here is we wanted to make this just like super simple and easy to use. I mean, I'm talking like your 10 year old kid could walk up and operate this panel without any instruction, which is actually something we've heard from some of our product reviewers. So why don't we talk a little bit about some of the visual interface here that we have going on. This user interface just looks awesome, dude. Yeah. Like it, it is on brand for us. It's just beautiful. It was custom coded. Mm -hmm. it's, it's built from the ground up basically to just make a beautiful presentation and just simplify the interface. Yeah. So many of these other panels on the market have complicated user interfaces and it's just, it's just hard to navigate. You know, I want to be able to boil my water, control the brew day and just have fun and enjoy it. Absolutely, and you know, you got these like aircraft style switches. They're super easy to operate. You really know when they're engaged. Uh, we've got a really super simple uh, switch from auto to manual mode, which is one of the most common things you're gonna do in your brew day. Just a simple knob, really easy to feel what mode you're in. The screen will show you what, that's, uh, what mode you're in as well. Um, we've got a good uh, adjustment dial. I mean, we've had people asking us for a rotary dial for temperature adjustment for years. And here we've been able to kind of execute on that where we give this really good feel. It's a push button to execute the, the temperature setting. It's just super simple and intuitive. Well, third point here, Adam, I think this is definitely the most versatile panel I've seen. Yeah, and the cool thing about this, um, this thing is sold a la carte. It's not stuck to a system. And so there's really a lot of ways you could go after this. You know, you could buy this as a, on, a, on its own and kind of use this to build out your, you know, your DIY electric brewing setup. You could uh, upgrade this from your current solo panel that you might have if you have a solo system. Uh, you could pair this with other brands or other kettles, elements, <clears throat> whatever it might be. Um, this is compatible with um, elements up to 3000 watts at 120 volts and 6000 watts at 240 volts. So it's just really uh, a great way to get started into your electric brewing space. That's awesome. So if, if I'm using a different you know, propane or maybe I have a control panel I'm just not really happy with. It's just 
want to get started with it, I can just pick this thing up and I'm ready to go. Yep, and this will help that conversion from propane right over to electric, and it'll definitely make your life a lot more, a lot more convenient. That's awesome. So Adam, on all of our old panels and a lot of panels I see on the market, there's just such a setup time with those PID controllers. It's literally about a 12-step process. <laughs> You, you have, have to bring go out in. user guide. User just... guide, you're, you're scratching your head, you're clicking all these buttons, you get lost in the, in the confusing menus. So are we away from that finally here? Yeah, so that's the beauty of the microprocessor inside and the brains and the software and the testing that we've done to kind of load all those parameters in. There's no quote unquote auto tune, which is kind of how those other competitor units, our old system, it, it uses an auto tune. Oftentimes our customers get confused with it. We've got lots of questions in, in our, from our customer experience uh, group, people going to them with, with how do I get this going? That is all gone. We've done the work for you. We've put all that data into the brains of this unit mm -hmm. that you literally just have to plug it in and go. And so, you know, it couldn't be easier than that. The other awesome thing is that this system, it doesn't care whether you're doing 240 volt or 120, big grain bill, a lot of water, 20 gallons, 50 gallons, 10 gallons. Because of all the work that we've done to put that data into the software, it's got the right parameters that it just, it doesn't need that set of work. It's designed for brewing. It knows exactly what its function is and it's gonna work right out of the box. All right, so now Josh, let's talk about how we're gonna build this thing, right? Quality is really important to Spike. It's one of kind of the, the pillars of our company. What are we doing to put this thing together? This is huge for us. We haven't had the capability of building electronics in-house before. So there's been a lot of upfront work here, extensive sourcing from suppliers. Mm -hmm. And now that we have all the components in-house, we can thoroughly test all of them. And when we get to the final assembly, there's thorough testing there as well. So we can ensure that every component and every panel that goes out the door is up to our high quality here, mm -hmm. our high standards. So we do like a functional test of every single one then? We thoroughly test each panel before it goes out the door. For every feature and function that this thing has, you can be assured that when you pull it out of the box and you're ready to start your brew day, you're ready to go. So the old panel, we, we didn't have any mounting options. You just sat on the table and that's where it went. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much how it was, um, but we've got a lot of options on this one, you know? So starting out just kind of by itself, first of all, it's much lighter in general, so it's easier to kind of carry around and, and set up in your system. But the cool thing about that is we've got this set up to be able to be used both horizontally and vertically, right? So uh, the cables come out the bottom, but they can be either fed out the back or out the front, because we've got a gap up here, and then we've got some mounting holes. So especially that with kind of the rake angle uh, of this design, it means that you can really clearly see it, whether it's horizontal or vertical. So you could mount it to your bench. We've got some screw holes. You could mount it up on the wall, and you can just kind of direct the cables in whichever direction that works for you, whether you've got it to the left, to the right, up, down. We've got a lot of options there. And then even more so, we've got a lot of people who love our solo and our solo table. They've already got that. And we saw a need to be able to provide um, a really slick mounting option for that as well. And so we've even come up with a um, kind of an articulating arm with a, um, a mount that specifically fits this panel um, so that you're gonna be able to easily mount your panel to your solo table uh, and your solo and it just kind of makes that full cohesive system all in one. Another thing that enables us to do all these mounting options is, you know, a competitor panels and RO panel, you know, they have this huge heat sink on the back and that's like, you know, a third of the weight. It's large, it's sharp, it gets in the way. It just makes it difficult to mount this thing and to set it up in your brewing space. And we incorporated all of the heat management inside. So inside we have um, just the right size heat sink. We've got actually a fan that runs across that heat sink the whole time. So it's keeping the microchip and all the electronics inside just at the right temperature. There's kind of vents itself out from underneath and it's very, very seamless and encapsulated where you just don't even see it or notice it. So say I've got the old solo panel, it's working great. I'm still doing my brew days. Like it doesn't seem bad in any way. It gets the job done. So can you tell me any reason like why would I want this upgrade? 
It's a good question, and you know, we've talked about a lot of the points, but I think it's kind of a, a cohesive combination of all those things is, you know, this thing is easier to use. Even with the panel, we've got lots of people who have our panel. They make it work, it, it works fine, but we have constant usability questions. You know, they get lost in the PID um, uh, screens and they get off into a place where they don't understand how to get back into uh, the temperature control that they need. Um, it's big, it's bulky, sometimes it doesn't work for their setup. Uh, or there could be something a little bit more convenient, and that's what this is about. This is about making it easier, smaller, more compact, more flexible. And yeah, you know, that panel works, but this one works better. And you know, when you're gonna have a system for the long haul, for the rest of your life, for the rest of your hobby, this is the one that's really gonna last the longest and give you what you want. Makes a lot of sense, and I do like a new, slick, cool-looking toy. I mean, it's pretty, pretty good looking, isn't it? It is. Adam, could you describe a little bit more in detail the, the whole methodology behind the screen and the design and the whole tech behind it? Yeah, so I guess one way I, I like to think about, do you guys remember back in like 2003 when you had the little Nokia and you'd play like Worm? The brick? Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of like what our current panel is, you know? Mm. Like looks like an alarm clock uh, from the mid 90s. Yeah. This is honestly like night and day difference. You know, we've got a clear, cl clean color LCD screen. We've tested and laid out the screen to make sure that you see your inputs and your outputs clearly when any of your anything's changed. You can like stand across the room and see all the brewing information and what the status is of your panel. Um, it's just, it's, it's jarring how much better it is once you get to look at the screen. It's super bold, right? Yep. The, all the element, pump, and auxiliary, when these toggles are flipped, it is super clear with these big bright circles and signifiers what mode is in. Yep. And I love the, the temperature readout. Man, that thing is just huge. And like you said, I can be across the room and see it, so. Yeah, and that's what homebrewing is all about. You know, you want to set the temperature and, and everything's revolving around that. Well, with all that together, Adam, the, the beautiful user interface, how clear everything is, what does it really do but simplify the brew day? You're exactly right. Well, that's a pretty extensive overview of the panel. I mean, Great look, great interface, great controls, simplifying everything. It comes out of the box, it's turnkey. Man, it's just basically, it's everything you want out of a startup or upgrade panel in a tight little package that just can fit in any part of your, your, your brew room. So, I mean, wrapping that up, you know, we're gonna make more videos on this. There's gonna be more content and we're really excited for this to get out to the public, get in the brewer's hands. So, you know, stay tuned and, wait, stay tuned and what? Stay tuned for more details stay. and we'll see you next time. Cheers. I wanna live here. Pretty dope. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's not. <clears throat> uh, I feel uh, peeped on. <laughs>